Hi, I'm Delaney. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Xavier. Hi, I'm Drew. Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is our video presentation. The theme of our 2025 Great Lakes Expo is to renew Cleveland through community empowerment. We do this in three ways. First is wellness. Cleveland is an industrial city and as such has higher emissions, especially relative to Ohio suburbs and other major cities. Pollution disproportionately affects low-income areas and low-income areas are also disproportionately denied access to green spaces. Second, community. Community is always something that can be improved, growing a stronger bond between Cleveland citizens will allow future generations to give back to the Cleveland community. Third is infrastructure. As Cleveland students, we've noticed a large amount of abandoned buildings as well as poorly maintained community spaces. We've noticed these mostly in lower income areas. When there are issues such as food and housing insecurity, not immediate problems get pushed to the side. Abandoned buildings have a higher risk of collapse and potential fire, and poorly maintained community spaces are practically unusable for anybody who wants to be in a safe environment. Our Great Lakes Expo will attract a broader audience because business owners will be attracted to the fact that they can interact with customers while also promoting their business, and customers will be attracted to the fact that they can interact with products before even purchasing them. Not only will the expo bring the community together, but it will also bring business to the Cleveland area. We want to make sure we reach the broadest audience with our expo, which also decreases the cost of our admission. The main reason why people innovate is to solve problems within the economy, the environment, and the community. These innovations work to support the people around them. There are already great innovators that are doing this in Cleveland now. Erica Hood is an African-American innovator born in Cleveland, Ohio. Erica Hood is the co-founder and CEO of SIAT. Miss Hood encourages people of color to engage in outdoor activities as is beneficial for their health. This is Erica Hood's impact model with major impacts in community and equity. Miss McGee is a Cleveland innovator who opened Upcycle Parts Shop on Superior Avenue. The problem that she saw in Cleveland is that we have too much trash, too much waste, and it's bad for the environment. So she thought, hmm, how could I fix this? For example, someone might say this is trash or garbage, but Miss McGee would say, I can repurpose this and use it for a greater cause. For example, hmm, a vase. This is Ansie McGee's impact model. She has the biggest impact in environment with other impacts in economic and community. Miss Janice is a visionary leader inside of Cleveland, Ohio, and also a beauty enthusiast. Miss Janice saw a lack of community inside of Cleveland, and that's why she created Fellow to buy, sell, and review uh, beauty products. Futureland hosts an annual two-day conference to celebrate tech, small businesses, and art in Cleveland, Ohio. This is Camille Janice's impact model. She has the biggest impacts in community, equity, and economic. And this is our impact model with major impacts in community, equity, and environment. The future of Cleveland lies within our ability to connect as a community. As teenagers in the Cleveland area, we wanted to bring focus to third spaces. A third space is an area outside of home or school slash work, which allows people to connect in an area together. We specifically wanted to focus on third spaces as our look to the future, because as the years go on, it gets more and more expensive simply to just exist. From the expenses of transportation to the expenses of just simply doing an activity that requires money, we wanted to have areas where people could exist freely and without cost. We wanted to use third spaces as our look to the future because as we look into the future, we know the cost of living is only going to increase. This means that modes of transportation and the cost to do activities is also going to increase, which may lead more people to stay at home more than they already do now. We want the people and you to build relationships and safer spaces. In order to create safe spaces, we have to look at Cleveland like it is right now. We envision a free indoor and outdoor space. Donations from our donors who align with our core values will give donations that help with the upkeep so that um, our space can be free and accessible to all people in our community. This way, members of our community can engage in activities like sports and other competitive games that will help foster a community within Cleveland. And also, hopefully, people can be inspired to come back and donate to Cleveland because of how much this space helped them. This will be a way to foster community equitably as if there will be no cost to this um, space. Low-income neighborhoods are the most underfunded and overlooked when it comes to building and investing in green spaces. Our goal is to bring recreational centers to low-income communities within multiple neighborhoods. For example, Crescent's Hope Playground Park is a playground for children with all levels of abilities and it provides them with a chance to play, grow, and learn. Bringing spaces like these to communities in need is imperative to growth within Cleveland's youth. A recreational space can be a park, a field, or just a sports center. We want to continue the work of leaders such as former Mayor Tom Johnson. 
He was elected mayor of Cleveland in 1901, and one of his main goals was to help the working and lower classes. He did this by increasing the number of public parks, decreasing the cost of public transportation, and investing in public infrastructure. We want to encourage local businesses to invest back into the community. Although the profit margin may not be great at first, by investing into their community and making Cleveland a better place to live, they will receive a return on their investment by new business and loyal customers.